Salut à tous, ici Sprunex et bienvenue dans ce 16 e épisode de Let's Play sur Life is Strange. On va continuer tout de suite là où on vous était arrêté. Et donc, ok, on a déjà le contrôle. Nous sommes normalement toujours dans un rêve. Alors regardez. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Euh, retour. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Il est là, le vrai code. 0311. Comment je le sais, c'est le seul qui est dans le miroir, dans le reflet. 0311. Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Look, I know things were bad between us, but that doesn't mean I deserve to die. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed Honey, me. I always thought of you like a Now you're going to kill me? And now you're so gonna this is how Max gets her revenge on family. Like I told you, can't you, you kissed me. That's Old okay if I'm gone. Because my husband and new baby wish we had to go out and pay with you. yours. But please, who, who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> What about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk, Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. 
Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on! Rock out, girl! Yo, turn it off! Turn it off! You need to hide now! You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell? Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also- You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're- I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Cowabunga! Why look and off? Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Photo bomb! Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill, but not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look the whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay. Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound- Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria- Rachel! No, Rachel, no, no, please not her! Chloe. <laughs> Come on, Max, we're almost there. Please wake, Please up. wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Max, come on now! Don't worry! Don't worry! We'll be okay! Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something! Chloe? I I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God! Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear, but that nightmare was so real, it was so horrible. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. 
This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Alors, sacrifie Chloé ou sacrifie Arcadia Bay? Arcadia Bay. Ah. Un choix dit. Difficile. Parce que si on sacrifie Chloé, Arcadia Bay et tous ceux qui s'y trouvent mourront. Si on sacrifie... Ar euh, si on sacrifie Chloé, pardon, euh, Chloé mourra et on, donc on sauvera pas mal de monde. Si on sacrifie Arcadia Bay, eh bien... Il y aura énormément de morts, tout ça pour Chloé. Euh... Je pense qu'il n'y a pas de bon choix. De toute façon. C'est un peu le dilemme du... Euh, du train qui roule avec... Euh, des gens et un... Avec des gens sur la voie qui ne peuvent pas bouger. Et juste un... Un aiguillage pour dire, eh bien, est-ce que tu, tu veux en tuer un pour sauver 10 Ou est-ce que tu veux en tuer 10 pour en sauver un c'est exactement ça. Maintenant, qu'est-ce que je vais faire Bon, bah, je pense que je vais sauver Chloé. Parce que c'est sa meilleure amie. Et tant pis pour la suite. C'est parti. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. Ouais, enfin, mon, mon raisonnement était bon, mais je me suis trompé. Hein. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Et donc voilà, c'était la fin. Et pour ceux qui n'auraient pas compris, le papillon bleu était un peu l'âme de... de Chloé. Qui correspondait à sa couleur de cheveux en fait. Hein. Et donc, euh, le fait qu'elles doivent mourir à ce moment précis dans les toilettes des filles, c'était pour ça que le papillon était posé là. Enfin, c'était une histoire relativement sympa, même si assez difficile, euh, difficile à digérer, je veux dire. Mais bon, on va passer les crédits. Merci à tous ceux qui ont participé, bien entendu, à ce jeu. Et donc, ok, on a décidé de sacrifier Arcadia Bay. Non, on a fait comme euh, la majorité, on a sacrifié Chloé. Alors, David a été blessé pendant l'altercation, 96%. Ok, donc la majorité est écrasante. David n'a pas tué Jefferson, oui, parce qu'on est revenu dans le temps pour ne pas le tuer. On n'a pas sauvé le camionneur, euh, oui, ben on ne l'a pas vu. On n'a pas sauvé Evan, on ne l'a pas vu non plus. On a sauvé Alissa, comme d'habitude, j'ai envie de dire, mais là... Euh... Tiens, il y a plus de monde qui a trouvé Evan que l'inverse. Bon, Alissa, elle était visible et on l'entendait de loin. On n'a pas sauvé le pêcheur, donc on ne l'avait pas vu non plus. On n'a pas fait changer Joyce d'avis à propos de David. Oui, enfin, je ne pense pas que ça aurait été utile. Alors, vous avez dit la vérité à Franck. Non, on n'a pas dit la vérité à Franck à, à propos de Rachel, 36%. Donc là, on n'a rien dit, oui. On a embrassé Warren, comme la plupart. Espèce de romantique, va. Ok, c'est tout. Et donc voilà. Très bien. Retour au menu principal. On pourrait recommencer pour voir un peu l'autre fin, mais ça je laisse à d'autres euh, youtubeurs, d'autres let's play. Allez voir sur le net. En attendant, eh bien, on fait retour. Et je vous remercie d'avoir regardé. N'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous avez pensé de la fin du jeu sur les commentaires. Mettez, mettez des pouces bleus si vous appréciez. Et je vous donne rendez-vous dans d'autres let's play, d'autres présentations et peut-être d'autres euh, genres de vidéos qui pourraient arriver dans plus ou moins longtemps. On verra ça. Sur ce, eh bien, je vous laisse. Portez-vous bien. Bye